Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you guys what I have learned so far how to build a simple linear regression model in our language with the real life data. Let's go! So the data that I'm gonna analyze today is a top song by country from Spotify. I downloaded it from Gank. I put the link below in case you get interested in this data as well. Again, the main aim of this project is to build a model that predicts the ranking of the songs based on its popularity. First of all, let's quickly look at our data. Data frame. Stop song dot fit I think and um file encoding we go the reason why I put the file encoding here because there are some special characters in this type of data and it will turn our data to a character vector of values. Let's read just some of them. Mm, nine out of nine. Okay, here is how our data look like. It's including title, artist, top, gender, years, and the main parts I'm gonna work with is continuous values, or which is uh, the popularities here. Let's look at it closer with structure data frame. As you can see here, there are 1,000 rows with 17 columns. Most of them are integers and factor. The second step I'm going to do is to clean our data. I always check the missing values of the data before analyzing them. So it's going to be um, 15 missing values in these columns and several of them. I'm going to omit them by let's call them as new. Data frame and a dot omit data frame and let's bring out our data. Let's check if they are still have they still have the um, missing value in our new data frame. There's no more missing values. We can go ahead and build our simple linear regression, but no. Before going to build that, I have several more steps to look at. I want to print out the top 10 songs based on their popularity. First of all, I have to group all of them and then calculate the mean popularity and then order them in the descending order. Here is the code because it's not the main goal to, for our analysis today. So I'm not going to go in detail this code, but I put the code in below. Let's bring down. So, yes, as you can see, here is the top 10 songs that were listened all over the world during Christmas 2019. Dance Monkey. Yeah. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Back to work. Okay, and the second step before build the linear regression model is to see the correlation map by data frame new um, just uh, on the row and just from columns number 7 to 16 because continuous value yay so here is the correlation between other columns with versus the popularity that we need it seems that it's not really high but I will pick three the highest features to build the simple linear regression model, which is energy, uh, duration, and speechness. There is another way that we can look at our um, coloration map by plot, data frame, the same on the row from number six, number seven to 16. And I will put the red lines as well. Dot smooth. Yes, finally, here's 
is the coloration plot that we should look at popularity versus other column. This seems not really good, but let's see. Let's build our first model. Our cone is number one and L L M to be simple linear regression model. Uh, is is popularity versus uh energy and energy data equal to data from you. I think let's look at it. Uh, let's call it summary to see what we have. Yes, here's what we have. So there are several parameters here, but the two values that we should look at when we check the simple linear regression model is the p-value, this column, and you can see here p-value, and even we can see the stars. It also means good. And the second value that we should look at is either R square, which is multiple R square here. And in general, in, in general, we wanted our p-value to lower than 0 0.05. And in our case, it's really small, so which is good. And the R square is close to 1. But in this case, it's just 0 0.02, which is really small, which is not good. But it means that the energy can explain 2.3% of the popularity and our predict function now become plus oh it's minus so which is negative correlation between energy and popularity energy should be times I think yeah so this is the credit function look like. Let's look at our second model, model 2. Let's see, I want to copy this. Save my time to number 2, chronology with, um, I think, the duration. So our R square is better, and the p-value is really small, which is good. R square is Better is uh, 0 0.066, which is mean that 6.6 percent is of um, duration explain the popularity. And let's look at our model three. Mm. V model three. Mm. There's two M here. Got. Look at our R squared p value is also small, but it's kind of larger than others, so it just have two stars here. And our p value, our R square values is uh, 0 0.06, 0 0.0069, which is really low compared to the model two. So to have a better look at our R square and color um, p value, I will print out the table that contain those value. This is the code that I built for that table and you can see here the number two has very has higher R square and lower uh, p-values comparing to others model so uh, from the table above we can tell that the model that had the best effect on the popularity is the model two which is duration versus popularity it has very much larger R and the smaller p-value so that's it is it on the basis um, idea about the simple linear reaction model in r and next video i'm gonna talk about multiple linear regression see you guys soon